My name is Joshua Bornfield. I'm a composer, writing a piece for third practice this term, and I also sing tenor in the ensemble. I can't imagine a life in which I didn't discover art that I didn't know existed every single day. In various forms, in various genres, from new composers or painters or sculptors or architects, Every moment that I come across a new moment of art, even if it's just a couple sitting in a park over a particularly blue sky with the perfect kind of wind, that art helps me to survive, helps me to go about my mundane life in day-to-day -day details. Among my great goals compositionally, I want for people to hear my music and recognize that it's something so familiar that they may have heard it in passing a million times before. What's important to me is contextualization. It's convincing them that the moment at which they, they encounter an art form or an art substance, they are themselves creating the artistic experience. Because for me, art is a verb. Art requires both the noun, the product itself, be it a piece of music or a painting or a sculpture or a building, uh, or a particular dance recital, and also a recipient, that in the, in the moment that that recipient interacts with that artifact, we encounter this, this transcendent moment. This is a very difficult piece to write, not because any piece of music is easy, but because this piece, this piece needs to stand up against the Vespers. It needs to hold hands with the Vespers. It needs to take it out on a date and leave a good impression with the parents. It's, it's a very special kind of piece because usually I, I, consider, I consider what I want to say specifically as the first aspect in composition. Uh, with this piece, though, I have to look at Monteverdi. How do I honor his music while retaining my own voice? Without having works like this Monteverdi juxtaposed by, say, the Ligeti Requiem or the Lux Eterna, uh, we might have a, a lesser sense as to where culture has been and how these composers try to express to us the basic emotions of mankind as expressed across the centuries and through very different circumstances. Without each, we cannot understand the other.